What is up guys? What is up everyone? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today and today I'll be talking about the weapon draft. Now the weapon draft is something I talked about a week ago. I made a whole YouTube video on it. I talked about, you know, the, the cons, the pros, you know, do I think it's a good idea? Do I think it's a bad? I was very open to the idea and I thought, you know, it'd be probably a good thing. Would it, it, it implement like sort of roles? But the more I played Infinite Warfare, the more I played the game, I realized Maybe it's not the best thing. Uh, there's a lot of problems re revolving around this weapon draft. One, the OSA and the K-Bar or the OSA are very overpowered. They're basically both a sub-AR mixture. And it, it's just, it's a weapon draft with guns that are so overpowered compared to all the other guns. It just does not make sense. It's capping the skill and it's just not allowing players to be at their full potential. For example, I, I hope this doesn't really happen, but let's say we had... 4v4 K-Bars, 8 K-Bars in the, in, in the whole map. At least there's consistency with the gun and with the damage and their range and everything. So in the end of the day, the team that wins is probably the team playing the map right and doing better and winning their gunfights. There's no gun limiting them. There's nothing really bothering them. You know what I'm saying? At first, I was very open to idea. Yeah, weapon draft can maybe increase some skill. You know, it has its pros and cons like I mentioned earlier. You know, my first YouTube video. I, I was like, you know what, it has its pros and cons, but I think in the end of the day, the pros outweigh the cons, and it's probably going to be a better thing, there's probably going to be a little bit more skill involved, but the huge, huge, big problem right now is one, like I said, the OSA and K-Bar are just overpowered. Maybe if they get nerfed or banned, the, the weapon draft could be more effective, and it will actually be a lot better to play with, and, you know, it won't be just annoying, like, oh my god, I got killed by K-Bar, oh my god, dude, I got killed by OSA, like, I don't stand a chance, like, this, that feeling, that frustration is so annoying, and it's hard to bear, you know, when you're playing competitively, and you want to win, and you want to be the best, and you're, and you're just being limited, so this is a video sort of talking about, you know, so my, having my second thoughts with Weapon Draft, you know, this is something that they want to implement, and, you know, talking about a lot of the pros, and, and after playing IW for a couple weeks now, I've realized and I've come to a conclusion that at least for now, unless things change or things get nerfed, weapon draft is not a good idea at all. And hopefully, you know, we can persuade them and tell them that. Or maybe they just like kind of, you know, maybe nerf the OSN K bar. I don't know what's going to go down. But I remember talking to you guys about this and, you know, I'm kind of retracting my opinions and, uh, about the weapon draft that I said earlier. But, you know, it was just, a, it was like, it was first basis. I, I, we haven't really tested out that much. You know, we played with it a lot. But I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, weapon draft's a good idea. Weapon draft's a bad idea. Like, a lot of you guys were, like, open, like, just like I was. Like, we were open to it. Like, we wanted to try it out. We'll see how it goes. And it's just, like I said, one, I'm tired of getting on and using the same gun every single day and not being able to switch to a gun. You know, scrims, tournaments, matches, whatever it is, I'm going to be using the same gun almost every time. And when you play that much Call of Duty, it gets repetitive and old. And yeah, some of you guys can argue, you know what, but if it's all, if it's every gun allowed, you're probably gonna use overpowered guns. I honestly rather do that than be restricted and being limited to, to my full potential because I have to use this shitty ass gun. You know, there's a difference. Having to use, you know, a better gun every day rather than having to use a shitty gun or a gun that doesn't compete with the other guns. It, it's a different feeling and just causes a lot of frustration. So the weapon draft, you know, like I said, it's, it's not the worst idea, and, and it has potential. It has potential to be something really good. It has something to, you know, implement a little bit more skill. But another big problem is we're playing Jetpack Infinite Warfare. Dude. We're playing COD. We're playing Jetpacks with COD. You know, in Black Ops 2, there was sort of there was sort of this role kind of thing, you know. There was the anchor, there was the, the hills, the sub-aggressive player, there was the AR Slayer. Like, they had the sort of roles implemented to it. But it's different because there was no Jetpacks. In Jetpack Call of Duty... You know, especially in hardpoint, it's all about fly, trade, fly, trade, fly, trade. Anyone can necessarily anchor. Anyone can do anyone's job. You know, you get you get fast everywhere, pretty much the same speed. You know, all the guns, like I said right now, you know, OSA and K-Bars are pretty much a sub-AR. So there's no really, like, like, it's just the roles are not there. And maybe, maybe, if we ban the OSA and the K-Bar... Or maybe nerf them where they're not viable and you know with those two guns gone then more subs are going to be used and then you can see like an nv4 or more subs being used and then the roles kind of come in play and i'm always down to try out these new things i always am like i'm i'm always down to you know try to make the game a little different try to make it a little bit more enjoyable to play but right now Weapon draft is just not working and it's probably not going to be the thing to work and I really hope, you know, we fix this. I'm really happy that, you know, they, they, they're giving us their full support and they're really, you know, when we tell them something's wrong, when something's too strong, 
they nerf it, they try to balance out the game, you know, they're, they're, we're, they're allowing us to test out these maps, they're allowing the pro players to really, you know, pretty much make this game as competitive as possible, and yes, it is Infinite Warfare, Warfare. yes, we're playing jetpacks, I understand all those things, and that does obviously hurt a little bit, but at the end of the day, you know, like I said, we have their full support, they're allowing the pro players to make a lot of decisions, and they're getting our, they're, they're gathering our information, and really trying to make the, this game as competitive as possible, and as best as possible, so I really appreciate that, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think, do you think weapon draft's a good thing, do you think it's not, leave your explanation down below, just let me know, uh, like I said, I was open for it. I was down to probably do it. You know, I thought it wasn't the worst idea, but right now with the guns just being so overpowered, it's like the Osun K bar, like whew, amazing. It just limits everything else. This has been your boy Apathy. Decided to do sort of like a vlog video and talk to you guys this time. Gameplay just gets boring, especially Infinite Warfare gameplay, right? Because you guys hate that game. Now I'm kidding. Now all of you hate it. It was a joke. Don't take it serious, guys. But this has been. Oh, fuck, what that idea. This has been your boy Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.